Nestled at the base of beautiful Wasatch Mountains in Clearfield, Utah, is Cleesby Conveyors Incorporated, the leading manufacturer of truck-mounted roof conveyors used for delivering roofing material to the rooftop. Cleesby Conveyors is dedicated to the promotion and education of the safe operation of its conveyors. Do not operate this equipment without first reading and understanding the instruction manual and being trained in its safe operation. If you are unclear or do not understand any part of the instruction manual or this video, please contact Cleesby Conveyors at 1-800-453-2446. There are two very important areas of safety that Cleesby conveyors would like to cover in this video. Number one, conveyors and electricity don't mix. Number two, only roofing material can be loaded onto the conveyor. Let's talk about number one, conveyors and electricity don't mix. Any contact between your Cleesby conveyor and power lines can conduct electricity and cause death. Your Cleesby conveyor can save you a lot of time and can be a real money maker. Like all machinery, however, it shouldn't be used near power lines. Both ANSI standard B.30.5 and OSHA standard CFR 1926.1400 state that it is illegal for any part of a conveyor to come within 20 feet of a power line. Equipment is only as safe and smart as its operators. Neglect or carelessness when operating any conveyor may cost a life. All personnel working with conveyors should view this video and read the pamphlet, Conveyors and Electricity Don't Mix. The two most common questions asked about electricity are, how much electricity does it take to kill someone? And, how does electricity kill? It takes five milliamps, less than what it takes to run a light bulb passing through the heart to kill a person. Remember, it can take less than one second for electricity to kill you. When electricity passes through your body, it can paralyze your heart. It also contracts your chest muscles and interferes with breathing and can even stop your breathing. With prolonged contact, the high heat from heavy current can burn you as well. Electricity always runs to the ground to complete its circuit. It takes the fastest and easiest path. As it travels, it passes through some materials easier than others. These are said to be good conductors. A conveyor can become a good conductor and so can your body because of its high water content. On the other hand, rubber tires insulate against electricity. Anytime you stand on the ground and touch the conveyor, the truck bed or truck cab, you can become the deadly connection between electrical current and the ground if the conveyor touches a power line because you are a better conductor than the tires on the truck. Cleesby Conveyors mandates these steps be followed before any personnel operates a conveyor. Number one, read and understand the instruction manual provided in the instruction tube on the conveyor and become trained in its safe operation. Number two, View this video entirely. Number three, read and sign the accompanying pamphlet, Conveyors and Electricity Don't Mix. Review the video and reread the pamphlet every six months. Number four, before starting up and raising any conveyor, use these procedures. One, read all warning labels on the conveyor. If warning labels are worn or painted over, contact Cleesby Conveyors immediately and we'll send you new warning labels at no charge. Two, set up a safety zone with yellow safety tape, cones, barricades, or other suitable means. Your safety zone around the truck should be longer and wider than the length of the conveyor that is on the truck. Three, clear the safety zone of all people and objects such as cars or trucks. If this safety zone is violated by people or objects that should not be in the safety zone, shut the conveyor system down and clear the safety zone before operating the conveyor again. 4. Look up. Make sure there are no power lines above you where the conveyor will be operating within the safety zone. Ask your coworker to keep a sharp lookout all the while you are moving the conveyor for anything that comes within the safety zone and to warn you. If you cannot find a location where power lines do not intrude within the safety zone or where the ground is firm and level, do not use the conveyor. Remember, it is illegal to have any person or equipment within 20 feet of a power line. Always assume all lines are power lines even if you think they are telephone, cable TV lines and so forth. Don't take chances. 
Keep 50 feet away from any power line if the line voltage is unknown. Don't take chances. Electricity kills. If the conveyor is operated by an electric motor, check and make sure all wires are in good shape and not worn or weathered. Don't run extension cords through wet areas. Don't set up or operate the conveyor in wet or stormy weather. Use only UL listed outside type 3 pronged ground extension cords. If an accident should happen and the conveyor should touch a power line, stay calm. People are killed because they panic. If you are on the bed of the truck or in the cab, don't jump or get out as electricity can jump also. Stay put until help arrives. If you are on the ground, stay away from the truck and keep other people away and call 911 or other emergency services. Under no condition should you go back to the truck to attempt to move the conveyor or truck away from the power lines. The truck may be energized and if you touch it, you may receive a fatal shock. If the truck or conveyor bursts into flames and you're on the bed of the truck or in the cab, your life is in danger and you'll need to get away from the truck or conveyor immediately. Jump and roll. Jump out as far as you can and roll when you hit the ground. Remember the always of conveyor and electrical safety. Always remember to read the instruction manual and safety pamphlet and to view the safety video before you operate the conveyor. Always establish a safety zone and make sure it is clear of people or items that should not be there before you operate the conveyor. Always look up before raising the conveyor. Always work in pairs. Always assume that all overhead lines are energized and live. Always remember it is illegal to be within 20 feet of a power line. Always re-familiarize yourself with the safety pamphlet, the instruction manual, and this video. Always remember that if you are unclear or do not understand any part of these instructions or this video, please call Cleesby Conveyors at 1-800-453-2446. The second area of safety that Cleesby Conveyors wants you to be aware of is that of loading roofing material onto the conveyor. All the safety items mentioned in the first section of this video must be followed completely when using and loading your conveyor. When operating the conveyor and turntable, do not wear loose clothing since it may get caught in the moving parts of the conveyor and turntable. While working on the roof or on the truck bed, wear appropriate personal safety equipment, such as steel-toed safety shoes with a gripping non-conductive tread, a hard hat, and gloves as necessary. Cleesby conveyors are designed and intended for the sole purpose of delivering roofing material only, such as shingles, tile, shakes, tar paper, and plywood. Any other use will void the warranty and could cause harm or injury to the operator and other personnel. Do not use the conveyor as a means to get onto the rooftop. It is unlawful to ride the conveyor for any reason. Riding the conveyor is very dangerous and unsafe. Use a ladder to climb onto the rooftop. Cleesby conveyors are not designed to move machinery, wheelbarrows, or other equipment. Loading of such equipment can cause harm or injury to the operator or other personnel. When loading the conveyor with the proper material, make sure that it is placed evenly on the conveyor belt. Improperly placed material can shift from side to side or fall off the conveyor causing harm, injury, or damage to people or objects below. Be careful with large materials such as plywood or insulation when using the conveyor for loading the roof. Make sure there is no breezy or windy condition strong enough to blow the material off the conveyor. If such conditions exist, stop using the conveyor until weather conditions improve. Do not use the conveyor to lift objects or heavy items. The conveyor is not designed to lift like a crane. Observe the maximum load capacity of the conveyor, which is 90 pounds per cleat. Operating the conveyor with loads in excess of the safe limits is hazardous. Keep the area around the loading and unloading points clear of obstructions that would endanger personnel. Remember the always of conveyor loading safety. Always remember to read the instruction manual and safety pamphlet and to view this safety video before operating your conveyor. Always establish a safety zone and clear the safety zone of people or items that should not be there before you operate the conveyor in order to prevent injury or damage from falling material. Always use a ladder to get to the rooftop. Never ride or walk up the conveyor. Always load roofing material only onto the conveyor. Never load equipment. Always keep the loading and unloading area clear of any obstructions. 
Always remember that if you are unclear or do not understand any part of these instructions or this video, please call Cleesby Conveyors at 1-800-453-2446. We at Cleesby Conveyors want you to live a long and enjoyable life. But remember, it's your responsibility to operate the conveyor in a safe and efficient manner.